guys, it's me again, Zoe Del. So, yun, napakatagal kong hindi nag-vlog. I guess around 5 months ako hindi nakapag-vlog. So, yun nga guys, napakadami nangyari. Um, this vlog is actually a life update. And also talking more about my new job, which is a work-from-home job. So, life update, ngayon nga, since pandemic, sobrang ingat natin. Um, if you can remember, my last vlog is about um, COVID prevention, uh, the things that I do to prevent me from having sore throat um, or from having um, colds and anything about uh, any problems with the throat or nose. So, yun nga guys, um, right now on this vlog, yun nga, um, I'll share a bit of what's happening right now in my life. So, as we all know, um, I'm a mom with two kids, so they're, they are having their um, home-based um, studying or uh, ano ba? <laughs> uh, online class. Ayun, online class. So, um, of course, challenge because this is our first time to have an online class before they're not, they don't study from home, they go to the usual school. But since this pandemic, kailangan natin mag-comply and wala naman talagang face-to-face -face na interaction with them. interaction ng mga bata ngayon kasi napaka-delikado. So, ayun nga guys, ano bang exciting na um, news about me? So, um, ever since 2010, I have been working home base. But, but back in 2017, I decided to go um, and have an office-based job. But then, since I'm a mom and uh, yung demand sa pagiging nanay, hindi madali, it's not easy to be a mom. So, I decided to I decided to resign last January and um, f look for a home-based job again. So, hindi madali. Uh, maraming challenges but thank god um i was able to uh have a stable job or i now have a stable job work from home job so parang very timely rin kasi uh, march nga no nag start yung lockdown community quarantine hanggang naging ecq naging gcq uh, at kung ano ano pang klase ng identification for lockdown so ayun guys um I hope everybody is well and good and, and are safe. Um, I appreciate yung mga frontliners natin na walang sawang um, ginagawa yung mga trabaho nila para gumaling yung mga may sakit. And sa mga um, bata naman dyan and sa mga matanda, um, follow tayo sa rules na kung hindi pa tayo pwede lumabas or may limitations lang sa paglabas or yung mga protocols, safety protocols. So, hindi po natin ito dahil hindi po biro ang COVID-19. Um, hindi lang po tayo dito sa Pilipinas ang naka-experience ng challenge na to, but it's a world pandemic. World pandemic. So, ayun nga, speaking of work from home, uh, marami ako nababasa na comment every time I post about working from home, every time I post about my um, working progress home-based setup. I've experienced a lot of comments and um, questions about working from home that um, we need to do that we need to do uh, for us to be able to have a successful work from home career so ayun nga guys so aside from work from home and um, homeschooling ng mga bata uh, of course hindi naman talaga natin maiwasan na lumabas meron tayong mga, F, mga um, ganap sa labas we need to go to the grocery store to buy essentials and of course um, go on with our lives we need to find means to to earn aside from our regular job meron dyan mga nagdirect selling online selling ano nga pala guys um, pag nag uh, order nga pala kayo online kung affordable naman or kaya nyo naman yung price um, huwag na sana tayo tumawad ng sobra <laughs> kasi ito lang talaga yung bread and butter ng karamihan sa atin ito lang talaga yung pinagkakakitaan nila even yung mga talagang before na mayayaman na negosyante, sobrang laking challenge sa kanila tong pandemic na to so, that's a little thing that we can do na tangkilikin natin yung mga products na binibenta on aside from ng mga nabibili natin of course, outside ano ba naman yung mababang delivery fee uh, katumbas ng um, pagkain ng pamilya ng mga nagbibenta. Mga, especially mga nagde-deliver ng mga tao, mga lalamu, grab, food ba dyan, or kung sino man na nagde-deliver. Yung nagde-deliver ng mga items atin na in-order natin. Sobrang laking bagay sa pamilya nila yung mga ba, yung pera na earn nila sa pagde-deliver. So, ayun nga. Let's get into it. Um, three 
of FAQs or frequently frequently asked questions about working from home. <laughs> na lagi kong na-encounter na tanong sa akin ng lahat ng tao na na nagtatanong ko anong work ko saan ba ako nagtatrabaho ano bang source of income ko kailan ba dapat mag-start na mag-work from home when do you intend to start working from home so most people working from home are already either married or have their own children um, and the moment that you realize na you need to have more time with your kids you need to monitor your kids or you need to have more time at home to monitor the household, that's the time or best time to work from home or decide to work from home. But not only that, yung second question naman are what are the basic things that you need in working from home? Ano ba yung mga kailangan natin? Of course, first of and foremost, we need to have a stable internet connection, not just one, but two. <laughs> a main connection or ISP and a second connection backup connection. So, alam naman natin na napakalaking challenge ang internet connection dito sa, bansa, dito sa bansa natin. It has been an ongoing issue ever since. So, dapat talaga may main connection ka and may backup connection ka para kung sakaling mag-feel yung main connection mo, meron ka pa isang backup connection. Next thing that you need in working from home is a working laptop or desktop computer. So, yung specs na kailangan mo or yung specification ng laptop or computer will, will depend upon the company or what kind of job you will be landing on. Kung regular job ba to na customer service, voice ba to or non-voice, voice meaning yung magtatawag ka ba, non-voice chat or email support, or kung writing job lang ba yun. So usually, um, pag naghahanap ka ng job, nakaspecify naman dun kung anong um, uh, specification ng computer or laptop na hinahanap nila. So, nilalagay naman nila yun doon. Even the speed of internet connection. But the, re the general speed of internet connection needed is at least 5 Mbps. Yun talaga. A 5 Mbps, yung pinaka-minimum na um, speed na kailangan. And download, in this, pag nag-speed test kayo yung download, must be at least 2, 2 Mbps. Yun, if I'm not mistaken. 1 or 2 Mbps. So, Ayun nga, um, no challenge yan, pero talagang napaka-essential or important yan in working from home. Third, frequently asked question. So, sustainable ba ang income? Is there a sustainable income in working from home? My answer is, yes, of course. So, um, nothing beats, for me, nothing beats working from home. It's just for me. Again, disclaimer guys, um, my opinion here in this, my opinions here in this vlog is according to my own experience experience ng iba might, might be different but for me, it's more sustainable to earn at home. First, wala kang gasos sa fair or pamasahe. Second, yung pagkain mo is kung ano nasa bahay, yun na lang din yung pagkain mo. Diba? And you can also rest in between breaks. For example, you have a 15-minute break, you can have a quick 10-minute nap. Or if you have an hour break, you can have 30 minutes for napping and then the rest of the 30 minutes you can use that for eating or um, having food in tea. And of course, um, importante doon, nakikita mo yung kids, na monitor mo yung household. Sa breaks mo, nasisilip mo sila. But of course, uh, there are a lot of challenges in working from home. We'll be talking about that on this the next vlog after this. What are the challenges in working from home? But of course, lahat naman ng um, bagay, uh, or lahat naman ng klase ng trabaho, or bagay, may paraan naman yan. Kung talagang mas comfortable ka working in the office, that's fine. Kung yung work mo, eh, hindi naman pwedeng dalhin sa baan. <laughs> For example, yung mga security guard or yung mga medical professionals natin, hindi naman sila pwedeng mag-work sa bahay. So, that's fine. What's important is that you are, you like what you do, you love what you do, and you are determined to do it. Because if there's no determination, if there's no determination, no willingness, Okay, and there's no hard work. It's impossible for you to overcome yung challenges sa kung ano kinakaharap, especially work-related, because that's our bread and butter. And yun yung nagbibigay ng food sa table natin for our children. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this a very, very 
um, short, not short, uh, tama lang na um, life update and a bit of information about working from home. I, if hindi ka pa nag-subscribe na channel ko, please click the subscribe. Please subscribe and click the bell button or like this video if you do like it. You can also comment down below if you have any challenges or for me or information that you'd like to know more about me working from home, motherhood, and anything under the sun. So I am guys. I hope you enjoy this video. You take care and keep safe always. Always follow the protocols. Always wear your mask. Uh, mask and the face shield na requirement now whenever you go inside the establishments like grocery stores, malls, or anything. And of course, magusal tayo palagi because we know that a faith in God will make us overcome all the challenges that we are encountering. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoy my vlog for today. Until my next vlog, see you. God bless you. Bye!